You know, um, there's a there's even inside the bodies of believers, and I'm talking. I ain't talking about. See, it's because right now Christianity is so spread it out. We have Pentecostal, Baptist, and, 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 and all these different dem- denominations, and inside these dem- denominations, we have created. Uh, uh, trying to get away from denominations, we have created a dem- denomination called non-denomination, and it's a mess inside the church. You got some that believe in this and some believe in that. We got some that believe that 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 there there wasn't a virgin birth. We got some believe that God literally went inside Mary to put Jesus there. We got we got so the virgin birth. I, I really I don't want to. I'm not going to do a video on it because I don't think that's Either you're gonna believe that, or you're not. I, if there's nothing I can do a video on to make you to make you believe that. The Bible doesn't talk much about it, and when it does put, talk much about it, either you're gonna believe it or you're not. But I'm gonna say this: I don't think you can have the whole God if you don't believe that He can bring in uh, uh, Christ through a virgin birth. And understanding that 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 virgin birth was so important to who God being because. If God is linked, if Jesus linked to a man, then he's not linked to God. If he linked to two men, Mary and Joseph, then he's not linked to God. And he's not linked to God as being the, 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 the son. You see what I'm saying? Part of our salvation lingers on Christ coming through a virgin womb simply just because half the son of man and being the son of God. But if he's the son of man and the son of man, then we believe like 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 some of the um like some of the Muslim, we we believe like some of the Muslims because some of the Muslim believe that Jesus came through Mary as a virgin, but it was her and her alone. No, there was no help in the birthing processes. There was nothing but just Mary. She was in the wilderness by herself. God, she God got a prayer and God looked out for her, and Jesus came through a virgin womb like that. Even they, even they got it half right. But inside the church, we don't even get it right. We don't. We need what? what either you believe God or don't. It's like we 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 full of some uh, being a bunch of Thomases. I promise you, it's like a a bunch of Thomases in the church. We have to get back to believing the word of God. How can you split the Bible up? See, the Jesus is the word. So therefore, the Bible is Jesus. That's his. That is his word. He says, "Keep my commandments and keep my word." If you don't believe the word, then you can't believe Jesus. You ever heard that saying, "Word is my bond"? Some people believe that if I say something, it's so strong as me doing it. It's if if I say something, if I I'm gonna cut your yard, your yard cut. It just I gotta get time to get there. If I say I cut your yard Thursday at one, then Thursday at one your yard cut. Believe that. And that's Jesus. If he said I was born through a virgin womb, then believe it. It's his word is bond. But if you don't believe his word, then you can't believe him. Then he's a liar. If you can't believe his whole word, then Jesus is a liar. Because if you don't believe in the virgin birth, then you're saying Jesus is a liar. And there is no, there is no salvation because Jesus wasn't righteous enough to do it because he's saying. Now, we know otherwise. That's why it's so pivotal to believe in the, in, in the virgin birth. It would not be in the Bible if it if it was, and and this whole thing of of of, of Bible being a, uh, the Old Testament being a bunch of stories, that that really don't make any sense as well. It don't make any sense because Jesus quoted the Old Testament. He quoted the things of Moses. He quoted the Old Testament. What do you think he quoted stories? He equated the, Jonah being in the uh, the belly of the the well or whatever fish he was in. 
for three days. He equated that with his resurrection, with his death, burial, and resurrection. He was going to, for three days, he was going to be in the, in, in the grave for three days. Three days. He, he equated that. So you're telling me that, that Jonah was a story and I saved you. Then God used a story to, 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 it's a lie. So we have to get back to believing God. It's all a lack of faith. It's all attacking your faith. It's the enemy attacking your faith. The different sex in, inside Christianity and then the different sex outside of Christianity. And I think this virgin birth was um, brought to um, by the whole is the Hebrew Israelites and everything. And I don't even want to go there. That's not even, I don't even care about outside the Christ, the body of Christ. If you notice, I focus more on the people in Christ because that's where the focus need to be. And then I, fo then I focus on giving the word of God, the gospel, giving the gospel to the people in the world. As far as the, 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 the Hebrew Israelite, they need the gospel of Jesus Christ more than ever. They need, they need the gospel. They need to know who Jesus really was. They can have a theory on God. They can have a thought on God. They can have a special teaching coming from somewhere else from God. But if it's not the word of God, it's not God. So we and 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 they, and they, and they believe in, in Yeshua Christ, which is Jesus, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua Messiah, um, Jesus the Christ, it, it, just Messiah. I mean, I'm sorry, what well, Messiah is, uh, Christ, all that. That's 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 the same word. And Jesus and Yeshua is is the same word. It's just English is Jesus, and um, and um. I forget the language. It's it's Yeshua. It's Yeshua, but like in Spanish, it's Jesus. It's all the same word, but it's just in different language. So, but they they we need to pray for them as well because they they they're believers in part of the part of the word, but not the whole word. So we need to really pray for them and pray hard for them. It says in um, Revelations. 22 and 19 it says if any man shall take away from the word uh, from word of this book of the prophecy God shall take away his part of the book of life and 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 out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this books which he had testified things surely to come and he said if it, in, in, in the chapter he said if you add take away he's gonna take you you add into his word you're taking away from his word he's gonna take you out you ain't a believer the only reason why your name is going to be coming out the book of life is because you're not a believer. That's the only reason why your name is going to come out the book of life. So let's believe in God and his word. We we, we quit to say, I'm going to hold God to his word. And then when we get in trouble, we start throwing the word. We start saying, God, you said this. And you said this scripture. You said that scripture. Or oh, it's, it's convenient to you to believe in, in the word then. But then when everything is good, and I don't believe in the virgin birth. What? Come on now, people. We have to get to God and understand that this is his word. Jesus said that this is his word. We got to understand that this is not a make-up word. This is not stories to motivate you. This is his holy, sovereign word. Now, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and checking this video out. Um, this video was supposed to be a teaching on um, the, the third part, the second part of the uh, overcoming fear. It was supposed to be the third part, but God something, did something else, and He wanted me. He wanted to take me somewhere different. So, listen, I'm 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 only used by Him. I'm not trying to get the glory. We're trying to get the glory to God. We're trying to get salvation to man. We're trying to bring, build man. We're trying to upbuild man. Bring The Bible say, pray for his kingdom to come down here. He said, pray for his kingdom to come. His kingdom is righteous. This, this, this kingdom that we live in is not righteous. I promise you that. This kingdom that we're living in is not a righteous kingdom. And if you don't know that, then look at the news for an hour. Sit down and look at the news. You'll see that this kingdom is not a righteous kingdom. You'll see that more than ever we need God's kingdom. We need God's kingdom to come here. Jesus is going to come uh, for, for a reign for a thousand years on this earth. He, he is. He gonna, the new millennium reign, he's going he's gonna to come here and reign a thousand years. The, and, 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 and the, the, the enemy is going to be chained up. But guess what? In, in that reign, in, in, when he's here, he's going to show you that, you know, because sin is still going to be, sin is still going to be here. He's going to show you that it wasn't the enemy that made you want to sin. It was you. It wasn't, you're still going to sin. The enemy is going to be, he's, he's going to be like the way it's, it's, it's you. It's your heart. 
it's it's gonna be you that wanting to live that life you lived that was wrong to God that wasn't like God. It's gonna be you. That's why it's so important that you make sure your heart is on the things of God. Make sure you asking for the kingdom of heaven to come down here. Asking for the kingdom of heaven to come in your life. Asking to walk like Jesus, talk like Jesus. Asking the Holy Spirit to come into your life. Loving Jesus and living by His Word. So when He comes, the, the rapture up, we can go with Him. And when He come back to, at, the, at the end of the seven years, uh, and it's after the end of the seven years in Revelation, that's told by Revelation and also told in, uh, in Matthew 24, when He comes for the, for the saints then and we come back to reign with Him, we're going to be reigning with God. And, but we still gonna it's still gonna be sin around and we still gonna have to face it. But if we overcome it, we, we if we overcome it now, we're gonna be the able to overcome it then. You understand something. We ain't overcoming nothing really. If you really wanna break it down, Jesus already overcame. All we doing is walking the path and using using God through the spirit to to, to overcome this world. The, we, that's why the word is so important because the word is filled with, with the ways that Jesus overcome. With this teaching of fear. It's not something I did. This is something given me by the Holy Spirit. And it comes from the Word of God. And we are being changed literally by the Word of God, which is Jesus, through the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit. He manifests himself in us through change through through the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit taking us through the Word and teaching us how to do how to overcome these different things. Whether the Holy Spirit used man or he used whether whether he used whether the Holy Spirit going to other man and he used him like myself to teach people about God and teach people how to live for God or he uses the radio. You may listen to a song a person who's singing a song on the radio and the radio uh, teach you about it's all the the Holy Spirit using it it's all the different ways the Holy Spirit using it to to work to the good of God which is manifested in him by God I really don't want I, I really don't want because I, I want to do a teaching on the on the Holy Spirit and like I said earlier it's going to be called getting the whole God the whole God right now in, in, in certain ways it's like with our faith, I like to use a mirror. Um, if you if you home, go look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror at yourself, you're not going to get your whole self. Now, if you got a mirror that's big enough to give you your whole self, it's still not going to give you your whole this whole this whole world this whole thing. You're only going to see yourself. I don't care how big you make the mirror. There's no mirror in the world that's going to be able to get the, to capture the picture of the whole world. So all you getting is all you getting is the limitation to that one picture, that one mirror. So what if that mirror, mirror five by nine? All you getting is a five by nine, and that's how we doing with Jesus Christ. That's how we doing with God. We we getting the Father and the Son, but we're not getting the Holy Spirit. And then we thinking that we getting the Father and the Son, but we we really not, because the Holy Spirit is what link us to them. That's so important. The Holy Spirit is what link us to God. Listen, I, I, I this became <laughs> something where I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I just prayed and say, Lord, give me a word, give me a word to the people. I thought I was gonna be teaching on fear. That's the word He gave me. That's the word He gave me. Everything that He just gave me, that's the word He gave me. So I pray that that it, it helps you. I pray that it works in you. I pray that it does something for you. I pray that it grows you in your spiritual walk. I pray that it found, if you're not a savior, if I'm sorry, if you're not a believer, that you found salvation. I pray that you you hear this and, and glorify God. Don't glorify me. Don't glorify man. Glorify God. And if you're not if if you're not saved, listen. I don't know if I, I go in my other videos. I hope I preach in, I hope I preach this in the other videos. But you really need to understand that Jesus paid it all on that cross. When He died on that cross last week, last Saturday, Sunday was Easter. When He died on on that cross and was risen. When He was dead, He took. He took the keys to life. He he defeated death. He f defeated sin. There's sin no more. There's sin no more that can keep you from God. There's sin no more that you have to pay for because sin has to be paid for, people. Sin absolutely has to be paid for. Whatever you say, there's no, the only person that can stop us from paying that price is Jesus. Muhammad can't. Buddha can't. Allah can't, 
Jesus Christ is the only one can. Jesus Christ is the only one that can pay for your sin, I have paid for your sin and can get you back to God. Adam sinned. He said, Lord God. Jesus died so we can say, Abba God, Abba Father. Understand that you need Jesus. He's paid the price. And if you think you can go on life without, if you can go on through this life and have a good life without Jesus, you can. You certainly can. You certainly can because God said he reigned on the just as well as the unjust. But it's the afterlife. It's when this life is over. It's when it's time to go home. This is not our home. You can't call 99 years uh, uh, something when in, 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 in the midst of trillions and trillions and billions. It's, there's no number to name number how long we're going to live. So you can't call 99 years. It's not even a blank of an eye. It's, you, in 99 years, spiritually, you can't even blank your eye. There's a better place than this. This place is is ragged and filled with sin. Even the beautiful, even the most beautiful parts, are filled with sin. Even the most beautiful, it's some beautiful, some of the most beautiful parts in the world that death has been over it. Death. We can make. We can. I've I seen some some beautiful, some beautiful, beautiful graveyards and beautiful grave sites, but it's filled with death. Filled with dead people. This world is filled with death. But there's a there's a there's a, there's, a, there's a, we can get to Jesus we can get to heaven, which is filled with life. We're full with life. All you gotta do is accept Jesus in your heart. You have to speak it with your mouth. You have to speak it with your mouth and believe in your heart and understanding that being baptized, bringing the Holy Spirit and bringing the Holy Spirit in, and through and through the Holy Spirit, God manifests Himself in you and changes you. He changes you. He brings, he, he, he presents you when you get to heaven a perfect, a perfect person. He said, my blood may be cleansing red, but I will wash you white as snow. And, that, and that's his word. That's his word. That's his word. So people, understand that we, we need Jesus. Time is running out. The Lace and Howard, I'm Third Movement. Um, I appreciate if you like and subscribe and let me know. The reason why I want you to like and subscribe so I can know what I'm doing it affects people. The reason why I want you to like it is because I want you to let me know that I'm doing it. If you dislike it, dislike it. I need to know if, if, if I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, if I'm doing a good job for Christ. That's my only, if you dislike it because you don't believe in Christ, I don't care. that. That's up to you. But if you dislike it because I did something wrong, then dislike it and then leave a comment. I'm not iron sharper iron. I'm not above nobody. I'm not above being disciplined, whatever. But you have a good reason. Find error when you dislike and you you say something to me. Find error in it. Don't don't say it because oh I just believe you're wrong. No no I want the word to back it up where I'm wrong. I want you to back it up with the word. I won't have a problem with you if you can back it up with the word. I, w I will change it. If I say something that's in error and you can find it through the word, listen, I'll I I come on and recant my statement. I'll do whatever I got to do. But if you like it, just let me know how it affects you. Let me know Let me know what, I can, what, what you liked about it. Subscribe so we can understand that when you subscribe to my, my channel, you're going to get the videos when I put them out then you get a chance to go and send them out. I, I want you guys to go and send them out so we can get them all over, not for my benefit, for because understanding that people out there need Jesus. And there may be something that God put in me that 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 will help that person. And then also, if, you have, if you're doing the same thing I'm doing, then let me know and I'll subscribe to you and I'll put you out there. That's what we need to do. We got to understand that this is not about our glory. This is not about the glory of man. This is only about the glory of God. So that's the whole reason why I say I really, really, really want you guys to like and subscribe and, and comment because we, this has got to be a, this um, third movement. And the reason why we name it as a movement because we really need it to move. We really need it to go out there. We don't really need to, to build any more ministries that are, are, are here, that, that you come to church. You, 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 you go, go to Bible study. No, we need, to, we, need, we need people to start going out. You know, right now, God has got me right now on the internet. But it's going to be a day where I'm sure he's going to have me going out and, 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 and taking the word out. Right now I have the internet ministry understanding that there's a whole world on the internet. So that whole world needs to be affected by people of God also. I in the world but not of the world. 
I can't be of the things of the internet, but I can be in the internet giving God. I can't be of the uh, uh, on the pornography sites, but I can be on Christian sites or on, on on sites like Facebook that that uh, that the world is on, and I can get a world uh, God Christ. We can be on YouTube affecting for God. And if you're strong enough and God calls you to get on these porn sites and, and get the word of God, listen, I pray with you, brother. I pray with you, sister. If that's what God called you to, I pray with you. But I know he didn't call me, and I'm I'm, I'm thankful. <laughs> the lady said, how? Well, I'm third moving. I'm out.